agriculture is uh, the number one viable source of income for uh, our valley. It's number one in Kings County. Uh, 2012, uh, we had two billion dollars we made off the of income of the agriculture in Kings County. It's uh, it's all we have, and, and we're going to fight it to the death. Uh, I don't agree with them, but it, that we can work together. Uh, if you take this stadium and pretend this stadium is a, a, a field, and you ran high rail in the middle of it, you'd have a field and bleacher. You wouldn't have a, you wouldn't have a Walmart. That's how agriculture is in Kings County. We want to protect it uh, as it is today. You know, we have a lot of families that have had family farms for over 100 years, and uh, we're doing everything we can to, to save that. Uh, we can work together with Hyphen Rail in the future if they were following the, the rules and regulations of Prop 1A, which is uh, the long existing transportation corridors. Uh, in Fresno County here, the train does travel along existing transportation corridors, but they don't have the issues that we have in Kings County. In Kings County, you have 29 miles of train going through viable farm ground. People's families have been there for 100 years. And uh, we use the Farmland Security Zone uh, Act to protect ag ground from encroachment from cities. Uh, we use it to protect our air base. And we're trying to use it to protect uh, from high speed rail. So it's very important for us to protect the ag uh, agriculture in Kings County. We don't have a lot of resources. We don't have a lot of areas that we can generate a lot of money. We are, we are strong in, with the Navy being there, but you know, Fresno benefits from that as well. Uh, so we need to protect it. If we could keep the Heidi Rail along the existing transportation corridors, uh, we probably wouldn't have a problem. This picture, you know, you had your house, uh, you lived there, you're a third or fourth generation for a person from your family living there, and the Heidi Rail is coming, they're going to take your property, there's nothing you can do about it. That's devastating to the family. That's devastating to the, the people that live there. It's devastating, devastating to the community. Uh, back in uh, 2010, we started uh, trying to do a coordinating effort to, to work with Hyphen Rail Authority so we could all be on the same page. The authority at that time were condescending and they weren't very respectful for our people in Kings County. So we started to do a coordinating process where we could get together on the same page. They had been coming to our county and working with our staff trying to divide and conquer routine. So we thought, well, let's get everybody in a room, let's work on the, on the same page and start moving forward. The citizens of the United of California have voted for Prop 1A, and they voted a high speed rail into the system, which is 220 mile an hour, two hours and 40 minutes, on existing transportation corridors with a positive train control that is electrified. Since that time, we've tried to keep high speed rail, California high speed rail accountable on those issues. We're not trying to, we weren't trying to stop high speed rail, just saying, if this is what the people voted for, this is what the people should get. And uh, we have not seen that yet. So uh, we had to enter into the coordinating effort, and we had three meetings total in three years. And uh, the first meeting was an apology for not showing up for first year. The second meeting was uh, to sit down where we're going to go and what we're going to do. And the third meeting was to say we're not going to come back again. So now we have the largest infrastructure project in, in the United States. And we don't even have a, a design yet. They're going to uh, accept the contract uh, here in a couple of weeks, and they're going to work on the design. This project was started in 1984, and uh, worked its way up to where they had to, they had to write up the proposition. And Alan Autry mentioned the Superior Air Ice Cream. In 1998, Jim, Congressman Jim Costa and Sonny McPeat and a couple other people from the governor's office were in Hanford, sitting at Superior Dairy Ice Cream, drawing up Proposition 1A. They sat there and, and drew it up until the business closed. They had to go across the street to the Civic Auditorium. At that time, Proposition 1A in High School was not going to affect Kings County or any farm ground. It was meant to go down Highway 99 or Interstate 5. So they've been working on this project for 29 years, and they're still trying to come up with a plan. Seems to me if you had $10 billion, you'd already have a plan in place, and you'd have this project moving forward, and you've already purchased the ground. So that's where we're at in Kings County. Uh, we are in a lawsuit. Uh, we're waiting to hear back from the judge. He took it under submission. He has until the 31st to uh, uh, tell us what his, his uh, findings are. And we're hopeful in that case. Uh, it looks positive on our end. I'm sure I could go feel it's positive on our, our end, but uh, you know, it's, it's up to the judge right now. So uh, we'll wait and see. I know that we have uh, had a meeting this year with High Real Authority, and it was, a, it was a productive meeting. The first time in three years we were able to sit down and share information back and forth. So I believe under the new administration it has gotten better. 
but if you are in charge of the largest infrastructure project in the state of California or in the country, you think you have your ducks in a row.